Once your hood has been finished, it's time to pin it's time to pin it to your shirt. I like to start with the center back in the very back of the shirt. I'm going to pin it so that the edge of the hood and the edge of the shirt overlap. Once you've pinned your hood, it's time to get sewing. To begin with, we're going to start by pinning the white head stripe on. It's useful if you have a head to borrow so you can see exactly how this is going to start. To begin with, you're going to put it, you're going to put the point, pointed part of the stripe almost exactly at the front of your hood and pin down, trying to line up the white stripe with the seam in the hood. As it goes, you're just going to keep pinning, trying not to pin the head of your person. Once you've gotten your head stripe pinned, it's time to pin your back stripes. One side of the stripe should be slightly narrower than the other. This is going to go at the top. You're going to pin it so that the top of your stripe is slightly hidden by the top of the stripe from the hood. The hood stripe should be a, a little bit longer so that when you sew it, it blends more easily. The stripes should barely meet at the bottom of your hood, or at the bottom of your sweatshirt. Once you've got your back stripes pinned and your hood stripes pinned, we're going to move on to the tail. You're going to line up the top of the white piece at the top of the black tail. When everything is all pinned, it's time to get sewing again. I'm once again going to use the t-shirt stitch and I'm going to begin with my tail. First, I'm just going to sew down the sides to sew the white stripe to the black. Once the white stripe has been sewn onto your black tail, you can either hem the edges or if you have an overlocker or a serger, you can serge along the edges. Once your tail has been finished, it's time to start sewing on the stripes to the rest of your hoodie. You're going to start sewing at the hood, starting where the hood meets the rest of the t-shirt. Once you've sewn the stripe on your hood, it's time to work on the back stripes. The next bit is a little bit tricky. What you want to do is you want to pin it so that a little bit of the stripe from the hood overlays and crosses and forms a line with the, stripe from this, the stripes on the back. Do this on both sides. So, when you actually get sewing, what you're going to do is, you're going to start where you left off, and sew, so that you sew a little bit of the stripe from the hood onto the stripe from the side, or on the stripe on the backs. Once you've gotten that done, you can just start sewing all the way down. By now, you should have your hood stripe attached, your back stripes attached. There should be a little flap here, and we're going to deal with that later. It's time to attach your tail. Fold it over here, and stitch. Simple as that. Now it's time to make the ears for your skunk. To begin with, you're going to want to draw a triangle. With this triangle, you're going to cut two white fabric and two of your black fabric. For the black fabric, you can either use any of the leftover second t-shirt or I'm going to use one of the sleeves from the first t-shirt. Okay, now that you have both of these, you're going to cut out on your note cards two triangle shapes as well. These should be smaller than the actual size of your ears. You should now have two note card triangles, two black triangles, and two white triangles. You're going to pin the black triangle to the white triangle and sew down two sides. Once you've finished that, you're then going to stick one of your note card triangles inside your ear triangles to make it stay up. Okay, now you have two little ears. Time to attach them to your hood. What you want to do is decide where 
on the hood you want your ears to go. I found that the best place is right next to the white stripe and about four inches from the edge. So you're going to take a pin and pin down the white side forwards and on the back, the back side so that you have reinforcement on both sides. Once your ears have been pinned, you're going to sew down both the front and the back with a zigzag stitch. And then you're almost done. For the final touch, you're going to finish up by the hood. What you're going to do is you're going to fold over the extra flap of white fabric so that it lies underneath and in line with where you stitched. You're going to pin it and switch out your machine or your needle for some white thread. Using a straight stitch, you're just going to sew across so that it lies down flat. Well, you're officially done. Now have your ears, stripes, and everything. And you are ready to wear, enjoy, and show off your new skunk hoodie. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you again soon.